Welcome to our latest edition of Inside Warhawk Sports. I'm your host, Drew Bess, joined by UW-Whitewater Athletic Director, Ryan Callahan. First off, Mr. Callahan, as a former athlete and alumni of the university, how did your journey lead you back to Whitewater? It, it was kind of interesting. You know, my goal when I came to school here was to uh, eventually be a coach uh, in a high school and, and teach and all that jazz. And I was fortunate to play some uh, professional baseball after college, and I realized that you know, I think I want to deal with some higher level athletes. It really is just a passion for, for Warhawk athletics, you know, the campus community. This community it was one of those things where I feel like it was an opportunity to, to work and give back a little bit. You began your time in this position at the end of the 2019 school year. So what was it like going through a pandemic in your first year as the athletic director? It was challenging. You know, we were fortunate where we have some really good leaders on campus. And, you know, our coaching staff at the time was very veteran leading. The bar is always moving. You know, you never knew if we were going to have tests, what kind of tests that we're, they were going to allow. And it, I think the first and foremost was always putting the student athlete health and safety at the forefront. So I think it was just, uh, it, it was very, very challenging, but at the same time, it really, it created a, a, a different type of community within athletics. The silver lining may have been is that we learned a lot about each other during the, the pandemic. Looking ahead now to this school year, both Whitewater football and men's basketball had their head coaches, Kevin Bullis and Pat Miller, retire. And what was their impact on those teams? Uh, it was huge. I mean, if you look at Pat Miller, he was here for, you know, 30 years of his professional career. And, and what he was able to do, not only in the basketball court, but also teaching classes, supervising student teachers. He was very big with the King Chavez and the McNair programs. You know, his impact was not just in his wins and losses and his national titles. It was really deeper than that. He was always looking out for the betterment of not only basketball or the athletics, but also for the institution. And Kevin and I had a, had a, a different mentorship. He was you know, kind of like a father-son mentorship where I gave birth to my first child. He was one of the first people I called, you know, so it's a, a very different relationship. But the same thing, you know, Kevin took over for Lance Leopold. And if you're taking over for arguably the greatest Division three football coach, you have to be humble. You have to have humility. And Kevin, that, that's who he was, you know. So a lot of the lessons that, that, that Kevin and Pat taught me, I'm still, you know, I'm still living by those today. So it's, we were, I was fortunate to have him and the college was fortunate to have them for that many years as well. What can you tell us about the relationships you've built with the student athletes in your time as an athletic director? Yeah, it's kind of grown uh, since I started. I, I think when I started, it was, uh, it was more of working with the staff and less with the students. My motto is that we're uh, administrative supported department, you know, we're coaches driven and we're student, student centered. And I think if we can live by that, where our coaches are going to take us, where we're going to go, but ultimately every decision that they make is going to be student-centered.